good morning, folks. It's another day in Robbie's vlog. Robbie's vlog, Robbie's vlog. Kind of a pretty long weekend. Um, Jurassic World was kind of awesome. It was a little crazy. It's never gonna be as good as the first one. I love the first one. That's just a brilliant piece of storytelling. But uh, I, li I like this one. I like this one because it was uh, what Jurassic Park would be nowadays, which was sort of sad. By that, I mean completely overrun with corporations. Boom! Zing! You're welcome. You can have that one. You can have that one. All right, let's get to today's topic. Uh, this question comes to us from Whoop-Boom! Ah. And uh, he slash she asks, Hey Robbie, what is your most treasured possession? And this is a very interesting question because I typically don't treasure many possessions at all. I tend to be very experiential. I guess it's, I mean, it's kind of a millennial thing I hear is that, you know, we, we value experiences more than, than things. Uh, but uh, I mean, like, wow, if I had, it, you know, everyone's attached to some object. Wow, did you hear my voice squeak? That was something. That was, D disturbing. Ah. Right, like I was saying, because uh, I'm a man. I mean, everybody gets attached to something, right? You know, everyone's got a little teddy bear or blanket or something when they're a baby that they would be horrified to see tossed into like a fire. You know, they'd be like, no! And it's funny, I grew up playing so many video games. Uh, arguably, one of my most valued possessions is like my N64 which is so weird. It's such a weird thing to like, oh, I love you N64, but I do, I really do, I love it. It's been through so much with me. <laughs> There's nothing like your first gaming console, am I right? Come on now. That's true love right there. You know, nothing comes to mind right away. Like there's no item from a lost loved one. Uh, you know, the last thing that my grandma gave me, you know, like she, she didn't give me anything, I guess. <laughs> she, I mean, like, you know, she did, she did, but like nothing that was like really sentimental. I kind of like that. I kind of like not having anything that's just my most valued possession uh, for now, because that means I could, I could lose that. There might be some time when I will want to hold on to something very strongly, but as of right now, like I could give away all my stuff and be okay with it. I mean, I wouldn't want to, obviously, but if I had to, under dire circumstances, give up everything that I own, I could do it pretty easily. I'd be like, all right, I'll start new. That's just kind of how I am. I tend not to hold on to the past very much. I tend to just kind of look forward and make a blank slate every once in a while and be like, all right, what's, what's up? What's happening next? I tend not to hold on to old things. I mean, that being said, I mean, there definitely still is like my fuzzy blanket from when I was a little kid and my teddy bear that I, you know, slept with every night when I was a little kid. That does mean quite a bit to me because for whatever reason as a kid, it gave me comfort. I don't know, like, I think everybody has something like that. You know, one of the first things that they own, it just kind of earns a little special spot in your heart. It's why Toy Story is such a good movie. All right, guys, so I guess my most valued possession is my fuzzy blanket from when I was a little kid, because I love that thing. Uh, comment in the section below, do you have a most treasured possession uh, or not? I mean, is there something you just can't live without or are you kind of like, meh, whatever, things are things. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hope you have a good week and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, I hope you liked that video. If you want to see more, click the thumbnail. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. If you want to see me trying to beatbox, dear God, it's terrible. Click the little alien dude. Where is he? Ah, uh, there he is. He's coming out of his little hidey hole. Alien dude. What's up? He's like going for a high five or, or maybe he's reciting Hamlet. What is that?